Good morning, you guys. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 24. I cannot believe the end of Vlogmas is here. It has gone by so fast. And this is actually my last vlog because I'm going to take Christmas Eve and Christmas Day off and just enjoy the holidays. So it's going to be my last video which is just like so sad it's like very bittersweet for me because i've really loved doing vlogmas and bringing you guys along every day and i'm just so grateful for you guys and i appreciate you watching all my vlogs and supporting me so it's gonna be a fun last day i have to go um run a couple of errands because i'm gonna wrap christmas presents today and i need to get a couple things and then i also have a meeting at 10 30 that i have to do and i have to unpack my suitcase so there's just like quite a few things that I need to finish today I was editing in bed and I was just finishing up a vlog I'm gonna make some coffee now because I haven't done that yet this morning I have been trying to drink like my greens in the morning and have my chlorophyll water which I'm definitely not good at doing that when I'm on trips but whenever I'm home I like try to get back to my routine going for an iced coffee today Now I'm just gonna unpack really quick. My suitcase is small and I didn't bring a lot of clothes, so I imagine I can get this done fast. And then I can section out some piles of laundry and start washing some clothes because I'll probably wanna wash everything before the weekend. This bag just has like my electronics, headphones, stuff like that. So I'll deal with that one later. I mostly just wanna unpack all my clothes. I already did my products and anything like that that was in my duffel bag last night because I was like pretty much using most of it so this stuff I think I'm gonna wear this today actually I didn't end up wearing it when I was there and it's so cute so I think this will be for my outfit today to do my makeup so I wanted to film a quick makeup with you guys because I haven't done this in a little while I'm just starting with this say beauty slip tint and I got this in the shade three and a half I really like this one it's just a tinted moisturizer so I'll use that or sometimes I like to do this one which is the it cosmetics CC cream and I already did my skincare so I'm just putting my makeup on on top of that, I'm just blending this out with the Say Beauty buffing brush and I actually love the way that this brush feels. It's really thick and it's super fluffy but I just feel like it gets um, all the product blended out really nice. And I ordered all of this stuff on Flip. I'm pretty sure you guys can still use my discount code with them. Their shipping is super fast and I really like ordering from there. So I've gotten like a few um of my products from them next i'm just gonna do kosa's concealer and this is in the shade 2w but this is by far like one of my favorite concealers that i've ever tried it doesn't make your skin look cakey and it gives a good coverage so i really like it because it gives that like dewy look and it blends out really nice next i'm gonna do this say beauty sun melt cream bronzer and I got this in the shade light bronze I'm kind of just doing all of my say beauty products today I just realized that because I'm gonna do the blush that I got from them too but I've really started loving this brand I didn't try it for a while like I had heard that it was pretty popular and then there was like so many good reviews that I was seeing 
and now I absolutely love it. The one thing I really like about this like sun melt bronzer is that I think it's pretty buildable so you can just keep adding more to make it darker. Now I'm going to do the Say Beauty blush and this one is in the shade Chili but I love the color of it. It's pretty pink and I think it looks so pretty. I usually wear this one during the day or the Makeup by Mario one and then I like the other Stay Beauty one that I got at night just because it's a little bit of like a deeper color. I need to wash all of my makeup brushes so bad. I haven't done that in, I can't even remember when I did that last, which is bad, but I just have not gotten around to doing that. It's definitely something I'm gonna do to get ready for the new year is clean everything, makeup stuff, and obviously like my entire apartment. I wanna do like a full deep clean. Now I'm just going to set my concealer. I don't like to set my entire face, but I do under my eyes just so that they don't like come off. This is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish and i've had this for a while and i actually still have like quite a bit of product left so it's last with me and then i'm just gonna do some of this charlotte tilbury film star glow palette there's a bronzer in here so I'll just do like a little bit on my cheekbones and then i always bring my um, bronzer down onto my neck and then i try to like bring it pretty low so it blends out. I hate when there's like a really obvious line. And I think my bronzer is blending better now that I've added a little bit of like self tanner on. So I, I like the look of that. I wanna keep up with my self tanner more. I hadn't been doing self tanner for a little while. I'm just doing the Charlotte Tilbury liner in Iconic Nude, just like over my whole lips. And then I'm finishing with the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This is in Vanilla Beige. And I need to get dressed, but before I do, my dress for the wedding got delivered from Revolve. So I wanted to try that on and make sure that I like it. Because if not, I have a whole week to order another one and see if I like that. So I'm going to go try it really quickly. Oh wow, this is a lot more... New Year's looking than I was even expecting. It is very like bronze and shiny. I actually like the color way more now that the dress is on. I feel like it looks so pretty and it's like perfect for New Year's Eve. It's so shiny and it fits me like pretty good. I wish it was a little bit tighter around like my waist area but I think it's fine. I also like this slit right here and just kind of like how it's a little bit different at the bottom. It's not like perfectly the same length. So it's really cute. It has some good detailing in it. And then I like the way that the front looks like up here. It has like a little bit of um, a crisscross strap in the back. So I'll probably do like black heels and then a black leather jacket. I have one that has like fur on it that I think will be really pretty. Also, don't mind all the boxes in here. I need to, um, Brandon's calling me. I need to start wrapping. The wedding is really formal and everyone is going all out like dressing super New Year's and really fancy. So I think that this dress will actually be perfect for it. I'm excited about this and I got it for like $100, which is a pretty good price for Revolve. I feel like their stuff is really expensive and I didn't want to spend a lot on a dress that I'm not going to wear that many times because I knew I was getting something that was specific to that event and that holiday but I cannot wait for the wedding next week. I was FaceTiming my cousin Taylor and she is only six months older than me. We grew up like being really close and we're still obviously close but I just don't see her as much and so it's just going to be a really fun time and my entire family is going to be there and Brandon will get to meet all of them and I don't think I'm going to vlog next week when I'm in Seattle just because I'm not going to vlog until January. I'm just going to take a little bit of a break which a lot of 
of people do after um, vlogmas and so I just am giving you guys a heads up right now but I'm definitely going to be posting a lot on Instagram on my story and posting some pictures and then probably on TikTok too so if you want to like keep up to date on that you'll have to follow me over there and then I'll obviously give you guys all the details when I get back from the trip and I'll fill you in on how it went and stuff. I need to actually get dressed now and take this off but I'm glad that it fits me and that it works because I was a little stressed about that. I just tried this cardigan on and I was debating if I wanted to wear it open or buttoned but I think I kind of like it fully buttoned so I'm gonna see how it is in the mirror but it's so warm and thick and it also comes in a few different colors but I really like the cream I just love neutral stuff so this is what I'm gonna wear today and I do think that I like it buttoned just with a little white tank under and then my goldie jeans and my UGG platform boots I'm gonna put on my jewelry which is all in here I think I'm just gonna wear my rings I don't really wear bracelets that much when you can't see them just because they like feel bulky under so I'm just gonna do these oh that's an earring <laughs> I'm gonna head over to Target and pick up some tape because I need that for wrapping gifts. I want to get like packing tape. Also, I need some for mailing packages back because I'm completely out and I can't even find my scotch tape. So I just have to go buy tape in order to wrap. And then I was thinking about getting a coffee because it just sounds nice today. I was gonna go through the drive-thru, but the line was insane and I need to get some gift cards. So I'm gonna do, I like the Merry Christmas one and then, hi, good morning, how are you? Oh, thank you so much. I love everything about you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Happy holidays. That lady was just giving me the nicest compliments. It was so sweet. But I got two Starbucks gift cards that I need. One for a white elephant gift exchange that I'm doing tomorrow with Brandon's family. And then another one that's for a gift. And I got a latte. I changed it up a little bit today, you guys. So I did it with oat milk and then I added one pump of chai because someone told me that I just needed to do that if I've really been liking chai lattes and like dirty chais. So we're going to give it a shot. Okay, I actually love it. It's super good. I would definitely recommend that. Thanks for giving me the suggestion. I always have such a hard time finding a new Starbucks drinks and I feel like I never get sweetener because it's always too sweet but this one actually isn't too sweet it tastes very similar to like chai but now I need to go to Target I'm gonna get some tape and then I also need to go get a couple of mugs and I might be able to find those at Target. I also need to go grocery shopping because I know that tomorrow is going to be so crazy at all the grocery stores and then they're obviously all like closed on Sunday and I really don't want to go grocery shopping tomorrow. I want to get everything that Brandon and I need for breakfast and just all the food for the weekend. Thankfully we don't have to cook anything for tomorrow night or Christmas day because we do it at his brother's and parents house so I'm really grateful for that and I'm just just so thankful I can show up and it'll be like so beautiful and such a nice time and that they want to host everyone and the fact that I get to be included is just so amazing and I'm I'm just so happy that I have all of them in my life and it's always just like so pretty every time they host a holiday so it's gonna be really fun but I'm gonna put on some music head over to Target and everywhere else that I need to go. <laughs> I just searched the Target app on accident <laughs> because I said that and I meant to search the music. <laughs> that is so stupid of me. I just got home and I only picked up a couple of things. I bought these mugs which are super cute and they weren't that expensive and then I also got some packing tape and then just regular scotch tape. I also can't find my scissors anywhere so I bought these ones and I really liked the print on them 
And then I bought a couple of wine bags just in case we bring like wine over for gifts and stuff. I want to have something to put them in. I also went to Sprouts and I was debating on if I was even going to show you guys this because I feel like this grocery haul is pretty boring since it's like the exact same foods I always get. But I'm going to show you anyways. So I got a couple of avocados, some asparagus, this bread, which I usually buy a different one. But I got the sprouted honey and oat. It was the only one that they had. So kind of excited to try that. And then some pasture-raised brown eggs, bananas, lemons. I got more of my yogurts. Two of them are mixed berries and then two are raspberry. And then I also bought another box of the cereal I like and I got it in cinnamon because I think this one is my favorite. And then I just got raspberries and blueberries, some turkey bacon for breakfast, some chicken that I can make dinner with, and then I also bought 12 ounces of salmon. So just a quick grocery haul. I needed to get the basics for this weekend. I just air fried myself some salmon for dinner. I decided to cook both pieces so that I can heat one up tomorrow. And I just seasoned it with some garlic powder, paprika, and chili powder. But I love having the air fryer because it cooks so fast. I made this in like 10 minutes and then I also just made white rice in my rice cooker. I was gonna make asparagus too and I just completely forgot and I'm already so hungry so I'm just gonna eat it like this. I topped it with a little sriracha but this is definitely one of my favorite dinners. It's so good. I'm just about to start wrapping so I got pretty much everything out that I need to wrap tonight and this is the wrapping paper that I bought at Target I love this pack with the gold and the penguins are also super cute and then for some other presents that I need to put in gift bags that I don't have boxes for I'm gonna use these gift tags and then I have a couple of gift bags I have a few more I need to go get those in the closet and then I also bought these gift tags that I can put on the presents. I'm glad that this pack comes with some bows on there so I can attach that. I have some tissue paper and then I also bought this roll. I thought it was really cute with the trucks and the Christmas tree on it with the presents inside. So I'm going to start wrapping everything. I have like empty boxes and just all of it right here i have a couple presents under my tree already those are from my dad so i didn't wrap those he gave them to me which is really nice i'm a little bummed because i went to target to get gift boxes i totally forgot to buy that when i was getting like all the wrapping paper and then i was gonna order some on amazon and i completely forgot so I went, when I went to Target today, everything was just completely picked over and they didn't have a single gift box. So I have to use all of the shipping boxes that the stuff came in, which is not the cutest, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So it's fine. And I'm not gonna wrap this stuff for my family tonight just because I'm kind of running out of time. I'm gonna do everything for Brandon's family and for Brandon. I got him this nike like track suit and i think he's gonna love it it's this jacket that just has like a white stripe on it and then there's matching pants and i really like these track pants they kind of have like a seam in the middle like in the front it's hard to tell on camera when it's black but they have zippers right here and then they're open on the feet there was um one day when I was wearing the Aritzia track pants and they're the like light blue ones that I have and he was like oh my gosh I love these pants like I wish they made them for guys and then I was like hmm I had that in the back of my mind so when I was shopping he like loves clothes I saw those and was like wait they remind me so much of the Aritzia ones I think he will want them so I ordered that and then I also got him these shoes Brandon is obsessed with shoes and I wanted a box that like didn't look like a shoe box to kind of make it oh I think maybe I could use that one I have one potential box option just to kind of trick him to make it not seem like it's shoes but anyways I ordered these from StockX and he has been talking about shoes um or these shoes specifically and I think that they're a little strange but he loves them so I got him the Yeezy foam runners and they feel like so interesting I was like 
how do you even style these? But he always wears just like, you know, Nike stuff and athletic clothing. So I think that these will be perfect. He had mentioned that he wanted a comfortable pair of shoes to wear while he's training his clients. And so when he's like in the gym and doing that, I think he could wear these. And I think they're pretty funny. So he'll probably just be obsessed with them because he loves all shoes. So I need to wrap that. The one box that I could potentially do, I was gonna maybe use this one. This came from the Pottery Barn stuff that I ordered my mom, the tree skirt and the stockings, but I ripped it a little bit. So I'll have to see if I can make that work. I'm gonna wrap it in some tissue first. But so excited for Christmas. I love like Christmas time and getting people gifts and seeing their reaction. I always like try to get people stuff that I know that they're gonna love and I feel like Brandon will definitely be excited about these things. I also am going to Sharpie out the price on like all the tags of everything. I always try to make sure to remember to do that because like sometimes I forget. Obviously people can like look it up online but <laughs> I don't want them to just see it. Saying about a holiday, the happy holiday. Saying about a holiday, uh 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 uh. Saying about a holiday, the happy holiday. Have a happy holiday, uh uh uh. Singing for the sinners and the. Hard luck winners, long time losers, career boozers, singing for the ones that got away. Singing like I'm praying for an act of God, a revelation. Singing for my savior, my slayer, singing for humanity and the animal kingdom. That was the last thing that I had on the list to accomplish today. So I feel really good and now I just want to edit this vlog which is so crazy that this is the last vlogmas video. I'm going to miss you guys and miss filming every single day and updating you but I know that a break will also be really good for me. So it's definitely a bittersweet but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for supporting me and watching all of my videos this vlogmas. It really does mean a lot to me and I also just appreciate how supportive you guys were. I know that they kind of went up randomly and there was a couple days that I didn't vlog and so I just want to thank you guys for understanding that I like was putting my mental health first and I was also still just like trying to do my best but you guys are so unbelievably kind and I loved all the comments that you guys were leaving on the videos and for the DMs that you sent me on Instagram and I know I couldn't get back to all of you guys this month because it was so busy but I just love you all and I really wouldn't be here without you guys so from the bottom of my heart thank you so much like truly I love you guys you are my baby besties and I'm really excited for the new year there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff happening and more content Content, so you'll definitely want to look out for the videos then but I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas with your loved ones with your friends your family everyone in your life and then also a really good new year and I will be seeing you guys in 2023 so I'm really sad to be closing the vlog out here but I just had so much fun filming this month and bringing you guys along for everything in my life. So I love you and I will see you guys in 2023. Bye.